Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about operant conditioning theory of learning. This theory is given by B. F. Skinner. This theory is based on reward or punishment in order to change the behavior of someone. This theory is based on reward or punishment in order to change the behavior of someone. Or we can say that according to this theory, we will repeat the behavior for which we get reward and we will not repeat the behavior for which we get punishment. Key concepts of this theory is positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement and punishment. One by one we discuss about each. Firstly, we are going to talk about positive reinforcement. Positive reinforcement increase frequency of behavior. Positive reinforcement increase frequency of behavior means when we get positive reinforcement then we will repeat particular behavior. For example, mother gives chocolates to her child when he finishes his homework earlier. That's why child always finishes his homework earlier because he knows his mother will give him chocolate. So here child is repeating his behavior because of chocolate. So here chocolate is positive reinforcement. Now we are going to talk about negative reinforcement. Negative reinforcement means strengthen a behavior that avoids a negative outcome. Means in negative reinforcement, we increase or repeat particular behavior so that we can protect ourselves from negative outcome. In negative reinforcement, we increase or repeat particular behavior so that we can protect ourselves from negative outcome. For example, child wears proper uniform so that he can protect himself from fine. Here child is doing particular behavior so that he can protect himself from negative outcome. Second example is you are leaving earlier from house to avoid traffic jam. Here you are doing particular behavior so that you can protect yourself from negative outcome. So we can say that negative reinforcement means here we increase or repeat particular behavior so that we can protect ourselves from negative outcome. Now we are going to talk about punishment. We use punishment to decrease the frequency of particular behavior. We use punishment to decrease the frequency of particular behavior and punishment always associated with some pain. For example, mother slapped her child in order to discourage his bad behavior. Don't confuse between negative reinforcement and punishment. Negative reinforcement means we increase particular behavior to avoid negative outcome. On the other hand, in punishment, we decrease particular behavior to avoid negative outcome. Actually, Skinner did one experiment on rat and with the help of this experiment, Skinner explained this theory. So, what was this experiment? In this experiment, we have one box and within box, we have one rat. There is one lever here. When rat press this lever, then food will come inside of this box. There was one setting here. So initially when rat was very hungry, he was moving inside the box. He accidentally pressed this lever and food came inside the box. After repeating this process for so many times, rat realized there is some connection between food and lever. Whenever he pressed lever, he get food. So finally he has learned to press lever in order to get a food. So now whenever rat feel hungry, he press liver and get food. So food is positive reinforcement for rat. Because of food, he was pressing liver again and again means he was repeating particular behavior again and again. And this is called learning through getting reward. In this side of box also have our one electrified grid. When rat came here, he got small electric shock. And due to shock, when he was running inside the box, he accidentally pressed lever. As he pressed lever, immediately electric shock switched off. 
after repeating this process so many time rat realized there is also some connection between liver and electric shock whenever he pressed liver electric shock switched off so now he realized he can also use liver in order to protect himself from electric shock so finally he has learned to press the liver to protect himself from electric shock so here electric shock is negative reinforcement in order to protect himself from negative reinforcement rat was repeating particular behavior means he was pressing liver again and again this is all about operant conditioning theory of learning i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care